Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. Welcome to my home. I'm Jamin Jackson here. I can't not wait to watch this competition. This is a good competition. Let's hope. Uh, it says advanced strictly Lindy. So this is huge. This, this level is for those dancers who are already good. They've got the control part. They understand how the technique works. Um, and so I've got to judge this competition a little differently. I'm going to be looking for timing to see if they can get their ideas to fit the music in a way that it would impress a non-swing music listener. I got to pretend like I've never heard this music before. And if I see something that is so special that it matches the music in a way to make me love the song more, I'm in. That person's going to be at least second or first place. And then I'm looking for the person who can do something I've never seen before. Let's hope. Let's hope. That's very hard to do, you know. It's easy to be mediocre in swing dancing. It's easy to be safe and just kind of fit in. But I'm looking for that couple who's willing to just mm, try something a little different. And even if it is familiar in a way, if they do it a little differently, they get my respect. So let's jump right into this. And here we go. The obligatory screams. Okay, I don't know who is in this. Yes. <laughs> I see, I see who was doing this is great. Folks, I see a lot of Koreans. You, <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Whenever I dance in Korea, the, the level is so high. So I hope this is really competitive. This is gonna be good. I see an American. And I know he's good. Let's just see what happens. Hmm. Oh, the music. Oh, that band is killing it. <laughs> it's someone like something. <laughs> chicken skin just listening to that song I love it I think this is one of the hardest things to do it's like DJing you hear good music but you can't actually dance to it you know you gotta sit and watch Daewon Kim and Byung Hyun Jung let's see what's up here we go hup, hup, hup. yes <laughs> yes okay Like that. Okay. Americans, Sean and Hannah. All right, I'm watching you. <laughs> it's some personality there. Korea, Gil and Sewon. Yes. Okay. Jay Wong. You, you. Here we go. Woo! Let's drop the player. 
Dario Marta. Yes. Andy Aileen, come on. <laughs> yes. Alex, I see you, bro. Yes. Good set, good set. It was clean. Jihong Ganella. Yes. I saw that. Victor, Terry. I like that. Good turn, good turn. Yes, yes, that was clean. That was clean, Vic. Lisa! <laughs> People can't, you don't sleep on her aerials, folks. Andy and Renata. Okay, okay. Hydric and Katie. Come on. <laughs> I love that kind of goofiness. The audience loves it too. <laughs> Come on. Yes. I'm watching you. I'm watching. Guys, this is tough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you gotta have some attitude in this competition. This is like, ooh, it's got the hip hop vibe to it. Ah, 
swing out the whole time probably. Nope. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. Tuffy, that who was it that? Let me see who it was. I, I've got my pick, folks. I've got my pick. I've got my pick. I just want to get everybody's names right because when they came out, they read the names. And let's see. The couple I thought for me that got first based on both of their sets and the consistency behind those sets. Uh Let's see. The first place for me, it's a couple of things. All right. So this the couple here, uh, let's see, Doriel and Marta. They did the split thing. Obviously, he did a split. And I was like, okay, he's doing a split or something. And she's still moving. And then she did a split. So I was like, okay, that, that was unique. I remembered that. It wasn't just silly, but it was still something that was part of the dance. They were sharing energy to do it. It wasn't just some thing that they were doing. So for me, that move was the big move that made it stand out for me. What I don't remember if they did any aerials. I remember aerials, but that was the one. So for me, Doriel and Marta, you crushed it. You got first place in my mind. Everybody else had control. Everybody else had timing. I think everybody's sets were special. So the differentiating thing, again, is that individual creativity, that thing that stands out that Lindy Hoppers 100 years from now will be watching and imitating these old videos going, man, this is how they used to do it. So we've got to do it that way too. But, but obviously I hope for them, they'll be doing the same thing, which is trying to invent and add uh, new things to the dance. So that was my first couple. I would say uh, my second couple goes to the, she had green, uh, I'm gonna find them right here. She had green on and he had tan on. They were out of control in a good way. Like I loved, I loved their set. They came in a little bit later and where are they at? They are here. Uh, this couple right here. I think for me it was, but the second place was between this couple, they didn't even show their names. That ain't right. Why would they not do that? Show their name. Let me see it here. This couple right here. This couple right here. I like their energy the whole time, the creativity, the timing, crazy stuff like that, crawling out, just rolling on the ground, not even caring who's coming by. I like that. That made me remember that. And then I would say uh, they were really first or second. They were second to me. They would, they would be second to me, mainly because I saw some things that were similar to things I've seen in the past, um, much like the first place couple, but I hadn't seen the first place couple do that kind of split before where he did a split and then she did a split after. I thought that was really unique. So I'm surprised they're American. So whoo! We weren't in last place, in my mind. Uh, this couple, this couple, I don't know where they are from, but they are amazing. I love them. And I liked, finally, the third place for uniqueness for me uh, went to uh, the gentleman who, this couple right here, I would say Victor and Carrie. Yes, their dancing was amazing. There were so many different things that he would lead on her that were familiar, but they were fresh in their execution. 
Now, it's one thing to try something new and just botch it, right? But they actually nailed most of their uh, leading and following choreography that was unique, and I love that. That I get more excitement seeing a new way to lead a follower and how well they follow it than I do just a bunch of choreography. So they were doing certain things that could have been choreographed, but I can tell you right now, I can lead some of those things and that gets me excited. So that's my, that's my group, folks. I had uh, the first couple, they crushed it. Um, second couple crushed it, third couple crushed it. Everybody else did too. I'm not saying nobody else did. It's just hard. These kind of competitions are hard to judge because you know why? 90% of it is subjective. We're not actually judging like technique because you guys are good. You're advanced. You're already doing it, right? So we got to judge those things, those more nuanced things that, that a lot of times we don't really say are subjective. And for me, I like to put my subjectivity out there. Nobody's neutral. And I like to put mine out there. I like to look for timing. I want to see, because you got the technique, what can you do with it in time with the music so that it doesn't look too choreographed but also, if I've never heard swing music before, I can still identify the biggest points in the music whenever, whenever you hit your fancy moves. That's huge. So I look for timing because um, control is obvious. But then I also look for creativity because everybody can do the moves. So show me something I haven't seen before. And I love that this level is so good. The real challenge is taking risks and trying to do things that haven't been done. So I applaud those who were just just crazy and goofy and doing things because I remembered you. But there were some others who did some crazy cool things at the same time. They had perfect timing. They had control. But they were a little bit more risk taking, like busting out and doing the splits. And then your partner doing the splits is a little bit more than just the itchy scratchy. You know, so that that's an example of my subjective bias as a judge. So what do you guys think? Am I wrong? Were, they, were these not the winners in your mind? These are the people who I won. I would have, you know, given them the trophy. I probably would have threw the trophy right then. <laughs> Just came. Here you go. First place. Jamin, get out of the way. The people still dancing. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> no, I probably couldn't do that. But anyway, that's what I felt. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you are not Doing Jack and Jill's, you need to do it. Jack and Jill competitions are so much fun, but they're terrifying, even the best of the best. I get nervous when I have to get out there and improvise in front of a group of people because it's not easy. People are, you're, you've got the jitters, they're watching you, you're being judged at the same time. And in a way, you're not actually, you don't feel comfortable enough to just kind of be yourself. So it takes time to get that comfort level up. So I encourage you, if you're not doing Jack and Jill's, to get out there and do it. Put yourself out there in a position to become more comfortable being uncomfortable. And it's a very liberating sensation when you can do that. But anyway, what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your opinion. Am I wrong? Were all the, the people who I said are first, second, and third, are they terrible dancers? I don't think so, so you're wrong on that. But you have an opinion, and I'd love to hear it. So hit me up in the comment section. If you guys want tips on Jack and Jill's, you want to learn how to get better at social dancing, figure out, like, you know, how do I get this idea to be placed perfectly in the music. I've got some musicality classes uh, in my school. I've got about 25 different courses you guys can try out for free just to kind of give you an idea of the content we're teaching for our online swing community. And I encourage you to get out there and try those courses because they will help you no matter where you're at on the planet. Anyway, I got some more videos to watch. I'd love to hear your opinion. If I don't see you in class, I will see you in the next video. Take care.